We've heard a lot from our customers about the need to understand their API exposure. So we have a new set of API discovery features. Um, the first is we'll send out a set of probes to look for API schemas from many of the popular RESTful frameworks, um, whether Swagger, OpenAPI. A lot of them have default locations where they will put those schemas, and quite often people are not aware of them then we can take any schema that we find during a scan, we'll parse out all of the endpoints and automatically add them to the current scan. Um, next, we have our automatic state detection where we can take JWT, bear tokens, or OAuth style authentication. We will find the relevant um, endpoints that need to be called to successfully authenticate and then we can apply that authentication to all of those endpoints that we've discovered. With this, um, a customer doesn't have to know an API is there. We will go ahead and discover it, and it can automatically be onboarded to the existing scan. I have an example here I'd like to show. Um, I've got two scans. One of them is without our API discovery features turned on. One of them is with it. We can see in the Postman's section here, um, we didn't actually find a whole lot. We noticed there were some um, buttons that could be pushed, but they didn't go anywhere because this was just a Swagger UI. Um, however, once we turned on API discovery, um, we actually find that, that those are useful RESTful style endpoints that we can call and manipulate. In this case, we found a HTTP method override um, from our API abuse kingdom um, that was exploitable. I lost the show real quick. Um, during that discovery phase, we found that this was a swagger style endpoint. Um, it was a swagger 2, and we found 92 endpoints that we were able to bring into the scan.